We're going to start paying attention to these router offsets. Now as we were saying before these are a little rebate so we're not cutting all the way through what we're going to do is, is dig out this little area down to a depth of about five millimeters. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the geometry and we're going to use, we've got the option of using these two types of fill tools. So this fill tool which is more of the hatch is good for rectilinear shapes, island fill is good for irregular geometries. So we're going to use the island fill here, select that. Now there's no active tool from a previous process so we're going to go through, I'm going to use the 8mm rougher which is probably one of the most widely used tools. Edit to change the settings. Okay, now the depth we're going down this time is only 5 millimeters. Now because it's an 8mm tool we could do that in one pass quite safely. Now the feed rate will set at 3000 and the plunge rate again at 1000. It is academic because it's the uh, machine is not going to be able to pick up that much speed with such a small element in any case. We go OK. There's no other settings that we need to be concerned about so we just go OK and there you can see. What's going to happen is the drill, the router is going to drop in through here and it's going to make a circular pass through there, move out to a circular pass so it eats that whole kind of circle out to a depth of five millimeters. So the island fill is a reasonably simple tool. So what I'm going to do is just multiple select using the shift key, island fill, OK. Scroll and zoom and I'll use the shift key to do a multiple selection here again. Now if you accidentally move one of these while you're selecting them, you do have the undo which is a control Z key. OK there. And then the last four, shift to get all of these guys and then island fill. OK. So there we have all of these uh, rebated bolt holes now complete. We're almost there. The last thing we have to do is just pay attention to these elements here which are secondary um, cutouts to make this uh, corner both rectilinear and a little bit neater than the overcut through here with the, the standard cutter. So we're going to use quite a small tool for this um, but use the same island fill setting. Now the 8mm rougher that was um, called up for the procedure before, we need to delete that before we move on. And then we're going to select the 4mm straight flute. Go into the edit. Now the 4mm straight flute is a reasonably fine tool um, and again the rule of thumb means we do have to do multiple passes in order to get this through the material without breaking the tool. Now we're going to go down 17.3 mil, so it's going to go all the way through plus a little bit more. Because we're using a 4 mil tool, we're going to do this cut four times, so it's as close to 4 millimeter the diameter of the tool as we can. Feed rate again is going to be reasonably academic because it's not going to get to that speed, but the plunge rate's important because the plunge rate's really not that affected by um, how fast or how far it's travelling. So we are going to slow this down to 750 in this instance. Going to go OK, OK, and then OK again. And you can see what's going to happen is it's going to drop in, go left, up and down, come out, go the second time, up and down, come out, third time, up and down, come out, third time, up and down, fourth time. So we can do the same using the shift key to do a multiple selection, island fill, OK. But with these smaller elements, sometimes it's better to do a fence. So we can do a selection by holding down the left mouse button and dragging left to right, island fill, OK. And we can do a multiple selection. So long as we don't uh, select any other geometry within that fence, it'll only pick up 
those elements that are contained within the fence. So this can actually save a reasonable amount of time if you've got lots of these little sort of fiddly bits to to pick up and select because they're very easy to accidentally move and because they're small often you can't really pick it up very easily that they have been accidentally moved either which is rather annoying okay zoom to plate and there we go I think we've covered everything there so we've got the outside cut inside cut drill route and a small route to do that secondary cut at the right angles.